Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. Today's story is a little worrying as detectives are investigating a series of blackmail offences where a suspect made phone threats to beat up terrified victims in their homes. The man who has a British accent is using number spoofing technology that mimics the caller's IDs of friends and family to trick them into answering. So this is so scary. Imagine you get a phone call and it looks like it's your mum, but when you answer it's a man's voice. I'd be thinking that someone's either attacked my mum or robbed her phone firstly. It would definitely send me into panic mode. The case is being taken quite seriously as it appears Scotland Yard are also involved and have said he may have struck several times in East London and Bedfordshire. Individuals and their children have been threatened with violence if they do not pay large sums of money to the blackmailer. Luckily, a 33-year-old man from South Woodham Ferrers near Chelmsford was charged with two counts of blackmail on Saturday, January the 30th. He will appear at Snaresbrook Crown Court on a date to be confirmed. But Detective Constable Michael Beskin has also appealed for further victims to come forward. He said, The man's method is frightening. He obtains the personal details of his victims and then calls them whilst disguising his telephone number as the number of a victim's friends and family to trick the victims into answering the phone. He tells his victims their addresses, their family members' names and other facts to scare them before demanding money and threatening them with acts of violence. The man's behaviour during calls is aggressive. Sometimes he has stated that victims owe money to him or that they owe money to a third party or even that someone known to them owes money to a third party. He has a British accent. We have identified two victims, neither of whom made payments to the man, but there are likely to be other victims who have not yet come forward. Ofcom has warned in the past about number spoofing where nuisance callers and criminals deliberately change the caller ID to pretend they're calling from a bank or credit company, but it looks like these individuals have evolved and are now using this hack for blackmailing purposes. Ofcom went on to say that they are working with the international regulators as well as the telecoms industry to find solutions. Anyone who believes they are a victim can call police on 101 quoting CAD 3849 forward slash 12 Feb 21. There you have it guys, many individuals using their hacking skills in different ways every day. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and above all else stay vigilant and stay safe.